What's up BayFam and welcome back to another one of my YouTube video. I have for you a little something that I didn't do for that long and it is one first of all the test spin of all my uh, all of my new five bays that I introduced recently inside of my videos and also gonna be a battle marathon kind of like uh, not battle royale because battle royale is all versus all it's gonna be a battle marathon to see if black phoenix or in that case black chain phoenix is able to go against all of my DB bays. How it's gonna end, I'm not sure. But one thing is sure, this bad boy has his word cut out for him because all the DB bays versus him, all the one that I have in my collection, it's gonna be nuts. Nuts! So, first of all, of course, before going through the uh, battle marathon with this wonderful bunch of misfits, let's go <laughs> with the spin test introduced to you thanks to the wonderful sword and shield launcher that I really love. I know I don't know if you guys know but this one is amazing. Amazing So let's go first of all with one of the first way I introduced in the my seri video series in the it was three part was it three part or four, four part? It was three part. Uh no. Wait. I'm thinking about it. I think it was three part. Yeah it was three bays that I introduced. Okay. Sorry, I <laughs> tried to remember. And yes, you're gonna hear some birds singing because I have my birds here with me on the side. So, yeah, so. Back to the main subject. The test spin of my Drigger V2 remastered by Terracatomi. I must admit, this bad boy here is just wonderful. And yes, here's the thing, okay? I'm gonna just put that like this. When I say most of the time in some of my other video is back to the can for you is because I literally have my Beyblades inside of a can. This one is a backward tin. So yes, I'm also a fan of backward tin in case you didn't know. So this is the backward tin that I use for all of my uh, Terracatomi base, aka my Japanese base. And this one right here, uh, sorry about that, is my Pro Series tin can. Again, backward tin back because that just makes sense. Of course, as you can see, there's not that much base inside of this one b due to the fact that some of the some of the base that I got inside of this collection were not that precious to me in terms of keeping them. So instead of just leaving them take the dust and waiting for them to just be used inside of Battle Marathon, I decided to give them away to someone who actually wanted to start Beyblade from scratch without needing to pay, well, I think the same amount that I each of us has paid in the, the years and all that. So. I decided to give them away just so he can have his startup with some bays that are from Pro Series and also a few from their Katomis. So let's go with the first test spin of Drigger V2. Again with the Sword and Shield Launcher. Inside of the wonderful Quad Drive uh, system arena presented by Asbro, of course. I decided to use this one instead of the Pro Series ones due to the fact that I don't want my Beyblade even inside of the um, test pin to go inside of one of the pockets that are considered to be ring out finish so the test could actually go longer and the battle could last a little longer that's why here's the thing that I'm gonna tell you right now my all my future battles all my future demonstration and all that would be inside of stadium like this because I don't want them to finish with ring out finish I want them to finish by either burst or stamina so no more ring out all stamina or burst so, let's go for the test spin of Trigger. 3, 2, 1, go. Here's the thing that I learned about Trigger V2 that I didn't know the first time I had my bay of this kind in the past. Um, Trigger is actually a balance type. Uh, not a balance type, but a stamina type. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it, the fact that most of its prettier form were all kind of attack types. But this one has the remastered made him. He is a balance type. Uh, no. Sorry, not a balanced type, but I need to remember correctly what typing he is. Give me a second so I can get the box. Okay. So, Trigger V2 is a stamina type. So, yeah, I'm I'm shocked as you guys are because I'm pretty sure that all of his previous form in the original series, he was an attack type. Maybe he was a stamina type, I don't remember. But if you guys do, just tell me. It's going to be hand. So, here we have Trigger. Beautiful, beautiful trigger. He started to lose some balance now because his speed uh, started to waver down a bit. So I'm gonna just st stop him so we can go to the next bay, aka the wonderful, beautiful, and tanky Gatling Dragon. Now, 
honestly, I'm very, very happy to have an uh, actual Terracotomy Dragon because I have here an Ace Dragon from a Pro Series and honestly, it's really not the same thing. The, technically, the, the Pro Series base are very good and very sturdy compared to their original form that are pretty flimsy when you go to the state purchase of a stadium like this. But... Honestly, it's not the same thing as Japanese because I cannot change uh, its mode to either Ace, Rock, or Glyph due to the fact that I don't have the piece. Just that. So. Also, um, I wanted to get myself the, my hands on the Big Bang Genesis from Terakatomi to be to be able to have the Genesis, not the Genesis, but the um, Big Bang armor. Those red blades that Prime Apocalypse and uh, Genesis can use. Because I want to use them on my Prime Apocalypse to do a battle marathon of him versus all of my Pro Series. So, without further ado, let's go back into the test spin of Asia again. So, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at him go! So beautiful. So beautiful and slick. I really love the design that they make for these bays because even though they change throughout the years, they always go with the idea of being able to be badass designs. And that's one thing I really appreciate about the artist. When you put your heart into your, into your work, if you put your heart into your work as an artist, you will always have something amazing like this. I mean, if you look at most TCG these days, Pokemon, Magic the, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all of them. You always have an amazing design made by people who care about the future of their game by the hand of their own users. And that's why I really love the fact that Terakatomi goes far and beyond with the designs of their bay because they look amazing. They're wonderful. I really love Beyblade thanks to them. It's one of the reasons I love them. And it's one of the reasons I will keep going on with Beyblade because I just... It's my passion, okay? I don't need to say anything else. It's a passion that I actually love. So, moving on to the next bait I introduced in my video. It's going to be the Xenophoid Excalibur with the uh, Sword Driver. By the way, this Sword Driver, not the best driver that I have, but not bad either. It's a good driver, weight driver. It's basically just for attack. Let's go with the Excyphoid Excalibur launch by his own launcher that came with him. 3, 2, 1, go! And that was the Soul Driver. When you hear this bay uh, scratching the stadium, it's not because of the driver itself, not the tip, but the side sword on it when he leans a little bit on the side. Other than that, an amazing bay. And also, by the way, I cannot wait to get my hands on the uh, other random booster after the one with Kerbius because of Wind Knight with um, Black Sword uh, uh, Excalibur, or in that case, Demon Form Excalibur. And the one and only amazing uh, Red Wind Knight. Due to the fact that you can mix and combo all of them. Of course, I will not be uh, that much appreciative of the Velia being back, but in the same time, it would be a nice change to see what I can do with all those pieces and all the combo I can do. So, can wait for the next set to come out. Now, I have two other bases to show you guys before starting the battle mar the battle marathon, starring this black chain phoenix. So, let's go with first of all. I'm going to show this tins the spins. God damn. The test spin of Arcalis before Phoenix, so after that we could jump right into the main event. So, Zest Arcalis with its normal format and is driver in stamina or defense? No, not defense. Is either balance? Is it balance? I think it's balance. Give me a minute. So I can check that here. Yep. So, okay, yeah. When the driver is like this with the red being circled by this white barrier right there, it's balance mode. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's go with the balance test of Arcalis, which has all the other base. I really love the design. Three, two, one, motion! Oh, I moved the stadium there. 
Look how sturdy he is and how beautiful he looks inside of this stadium. I must admit, like I said in my review video of Archelis, I really love the fact that even though the bay itself and his pieces has been modified throughout his evolution, I must admit, the fact that this chip has not changed since day one, that it always been represented the same way. The helmet of the warrior with his shield on the side and the short and the sword on the outside of the on the blades itself is just amazing. Terkatomi does an amazing job. And of course, normally I would do a battle marathon with Archelis with all of his different form and different format, but the thing is I really love him like this bass is always good anyways. So, even in music, sometimes a little, more, a little bit more bass is always good. Now, let's go with the test pin of Black Chain Phoenix. Amazing design again. To see what it can do. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Ugh, so beautiful. I, I'm a sucker for dark type base because that's just how they look and how they I love them. And that's why I can wait for the month of December when uh, the new Lucifer will be introduced in the DB series. Honestly, I hope that the leak about the fact that we're gonna have another Lucifer is not a joke or just a misread of someone that leak out the, li the list. Because I really hope that Lucifer is able to do a comeback in the BU series. Like, I'm craving it. I really want it to be an actual thing. Okay, and I'm pretty sure out there that uh, that like me, there's other that want that very much, because it ju it will just be amazing. So let's go back again into the main event. Let's throw Black Phoenix within the stadium with another one of my DB bays. So of course it's gonna be a random pick, and yes, even Trigger is gonna be inside of this stadium because of the fact that, well. He's one of the latest one I introduced inside of my collection of Terracatomi Bays. Now, another bay that will not be inside of this inside of this battle though will be the Ragnarok that I receive with the um, customized set, due to the fact that it's not a DB base and a DB bay itself, but it's more like a Super King bay, and in that case, it would be better to use him inside of the Pro Series Marathon that I want to do instead of using it in the DB Marathon. So. And of course, it's gonna be a little short um, sometime pause period because I have to change this launcher from left to right and right to left due to the fact that I have base from both sides. And of course, I need time to do it because this one is the only launcher I can change due to the fact that this one is rather new and it's pretty much locked inside of this handle. What I should do though, and I just realized and realize I realize it. Sorry about that. I should buy myself another set of two launchers with one uh, double handle to be able to make one permanently L, one permanently R, and the other double R or double L depending on how I want things to work. But like this so far, I think it's pretty just amazing. So of course, if I do a full-on marathon when it not not a full-on marathon, but a full-on battle list like in tournament form or somehow, I should probably try to make sure that I'm able to change both of them into L mode in case I need to do a double battle of left versus left. So without further ado, let's go with the first opponent. Since it's already on this left side, let's go with Astral Spryzen versus Black Chain Phoenix. And of course, like I said, it's gonna be a stamina or burst finish only battles. That's all I want to do in my future videos because I think that ring out finish takes a little bit more out of what they should be represented as Beyblade. I mean, come on, we do all that effort to create stadiums that don't have the pockets, and most of the time I, we wish that our Beyblade don't actually jump out of the stadium. So why put the ring on finish in videos like this? I don't know. But let's go with this first battle. Round one, three, two, one, go. Shoot! Aren't we lucky that we're not inside of the... The anime itself, because right now Sparks will be flying. And I am afraid that Spryzen is gonna take the first point here, although it's not completely guaranteed. 
my vision is not the best one, but I'm pretty sure that Phoenix has the upper hand, like I'm not sure. It's, uh, and uh, I was right. <laughs> Phoenix did have the upper hand, but as you can see, he didn't click at all. I'm not sure if you can see it correctly because the image seemed to be blurry. Let me change that. Okay. I'm not sure. I think it's still blurry a little bit. Sorry about that. So, anyways, his pin is still here at the, bot at the top of the head. So, technically, not any burst in a previous soon. But although, <laughs> Shul's Prize was close to a burst. That's saying something. So, yeah. Let's go for round two. To see if Surprise is going to win against Phoenix. Or if Phoenix can take one win before and if we have to go to a third uh, match three two one go shoot i feel like i need to hold this thing and it's so strong i mean jesus christ i hear the fact that you can actually hear the metal Oh! Ah! And that's another win for Sprite. Make it 2 2 0, meaning that Phoenix didn't win this one. Oh, but Phoenix clicked once. So that's a really good thing. Let's move out from uh, Sprite. Let's go with a righty this time. Let me just change the launcher. Like I said, it's gonna take two seconds. Ah, there we go. So, there we go. Man. So now let's go to right versus right. Right versus wrong. Nah, just kidding. Let's go with Xiphoid Excalibur. Round one, three, two, one, go! Shoot! I think Excalibur sword is out actually. Or maybe not. And it was! <laughs> okay, okay, you won, you won. Calm down. <laughs> so he clicks, he clicked at least once. And as for Excalibur, oh yeah, the sword was out. But even with the power of the sword, not strong enough to defeat the Phoenix. The magical sword of the ancient time was not strong enough to defeat the magical bird of darkness. The chain wrap anyway you know what i mean round two <laughs> that's crazy three two one go shoot <laughs> okay we had contact and that's a win congratulations to two point to our phoenix so that's one win, one loss. Congratulations to Excalibur, you did a great job. But unfortunately for you, it was not enough. So let's go with another rando with the Divine Belial. With the DNA gear on, and yes, of course I put another uh, driver on it. Because trying and testing is part of the fun. So let's go with these two. Round one, three, two, one, go! Shoot! As you can see, Berlioz is a bit more stable than Phoenix due to the extend driver, high extend dash driver, to be more precise. And I think due to that and the fact that it is in stamina, oh, and I was wrong. <laughs> okay, because the driver technically is in stamina mode, one of the lowest uh, setting that this driver can have. And I thought for sure that Belio was uh, was gonna outspin uh, Phoenix, but hey, I was wrong. Would you look at that? Let's go for round two. Three, two, one. Go. Woo! Okay, we get some hits. American power through. Come on. 
You can do this. Oh boy. Stamina is running low here on Phoenix. Oh! Oh! I think it's a draw. I'm not exactly sure. But just for the sake of argument, I think I'm gonna go and say it's a draw. And go with round 3. Damn! Wasn't expected that. That was quite the unexpected situation. Round 3. 3, 2, 1, go! By the way, I actually love the little thing I did with this launcher. You put a cord between them, so it's easier to pull both of them at the same time. It's kind of amazing. Whoa! And that concludes it. I'm sorry, Belial, but due to the, that, uh, that last fact, Phoenix was the last one to move. Therefore, you have lost, my friend. It's therefore 2-1 two, two, for Phoenix. And Phoenix has won. Now, let's go back into the L side because I do have uh, the two other bays that are in the left area. Not like black pink in your area, but you know. Is that copyright? I'm not even sure. That's the thing though, I'm also asking myself, what kind of music can I play in the background of my video that will not be cut during the, f the, the editing due to the fact of copyrights reason? So now, left versus right. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with the uh, Spin Stealer, aka Fafnish, Fafni Alteration Coloring, of course, because I don't have the original one. Sorry, not sorry. Three, two, one, one. Whoa, ho, ho. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, that's not a surprise. Fafnir has always been better with stamina than all the other base. So I'm sorry my friend, but you did have a little, how can I say that? Uh, run out with a spin stealer drain power. Did, is it me or did Fafnir actually had one version of him where he was considered drain Fafnir? I think it was one of his first appearance. I don't remember. Three, two, one, go! Shoot. Round two! Quite stable. And also, you can just put something in my bag. Ah. I just thought of that. And, um. And Fafnir win. Of course, like I like I did say, Fafnir has the ability of uh, stin spiel versus a right mode, right side. It's actually pretty normal when you think about it. And now I just have something I want to change with that. Sorry about the sound that you just hear, because I had to change a little sound thing. I'm probably gonna try another time, but right now I'm gonna continue with all the pieces. Uh, let's go with the last left mode, so we could just go right after that. My guilty longness, color altered as well, but I can't lie, this design is pretty cool. I just wish the chip itself would be a bit more black and on the dark side, but hey, what can you do? So, three, two, one, go! And yes, you see feathers fly around, sorry about that. Woo! in again. Round two. Three, two, one, go! Woohoo! Go for 
für mich, Phoenix. Black Chain Breaker. I don't know why, but weirdly enough, Black Chain Phoenix almost sounds like a metal band name. Like they're back from the dead. And that was a secondary win for our friend Phoenix. Therefore, Londis, sorry, but you're out, my friend. Now, let's go back into right mode with this launcher. And of course, why not record the two together. Right mode. Right mode. Also, here's a little thing. Right mode is not a uh, right spin is not my favorite spin form. It's just that what can I do if most of my bays are right spin? There's literally nothing I can do. Now let's go for uh, yeah, why not? We did see a belly off in the in previous form. Let's go with the God Holy King belly off with one less gear. The L gear is really not my favorite one, so let's go with that. Round one with the ability to actually uh, spin steel. Three, two, one, go! Plastic on plastic action. That doesn't surprise me though. Oh! And Belio win with one point. Let's go with round two. Three, two, one, go! Oh, and that's one for Phoenix. One to one. Let's go to round three to decide who is going to be the winner. The winniest winning. <laughs> nope, never mind. I will not go there. <laughs> three, two, one, go! I need to hold that stadium. And the wind blows and the feather goes. Yes, feather, because like I said, I have birds. Birds are feather, flat together. And with that, Phoenix has won. 2-1. Two, two, Phoenix is the winner for a stamina finish. Now, let's go with another defense type that actually is confused to be also an attack type due to his form. I mean, Greatest Raphael versus the Phoenix. So, a Bird of Immortality versus an Archangel. Let's see who is going to win. I'm actually curious. 3, 2, 1, go! Shoot! Two considered defense type against one another. Oh, and as I can see, Raphael's rings are already up. Is he gonna have more stamina than Phoenix? Only time will tell. And I think so, yep. Unfortunately, our Phoenix. Oh, with two clicks in, actually. God damn. That was great, kind of impressive when you think about it. And with Raphael with zero clicks in. Wow. His burst lock mechanism is quite hefty, I must admit. I did think he burst once in one of my videos, but it hardly happened. Three, two, one, go! And yes, he has a light core, I know. Come on, give it to all the Phoenix. You can win this one. I'm sure I trust in you. Unleash your power coming from hell. Hell, Phoenix. Black chain, Phoenix. Go for it. Oh. 
And that's the win for Phoenix. You know how I know that it's the win for Phoenix? Because that's the thing with the light-up core. When you see the light uh, starting to flicker a bit, it's because your bay is losing a lot of speed and will actually stop in a few minutes. Or a second, depending on how things goes. Let's go to round 3 to see who is going to be the winner of this matchup. 3, 2, 1, go! Oh! That was a hard hit. That's a win for Rafael. I was gonna say it's a win for Phoenix, but no. At the last hit there, the scrape of the stadium actually put him way too much low and actually stopped his movement. So it's a win for Rafael. Congratulations, Rafael. I'm not very happy, but hey, what can I say? I have to lie a little bit sometime. Let's take these ones out of the box due to the fact that they didn't go through yet. So I can put all the others back into the box. Sorry about the wait. Yes, yes, I know. You're beautiful. You're singing. Shut up! Keep on singing. Now, let's go with another fan favorite. Because it had many different forms for hunting years. Valkyrie. Save your, uh, save your Valkyrie versus... Black Chain Phoenix. Let's see who's going to be the master. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! That was a hard hit. Although I think, yes, Phoenix is gonna lose this one. I have a feeling because his stamina. Seems to be lower than Valkyrie. Yep. And Valkyrie take this one. So it's one point for Valkyrie. Let's go to round two to see if Phoenix can take his vengeance. The bird of vengeance being black. Sorry, that was really wrong of me to say. Three, two, one. Woo! That's one to one. And two clicks in for Phoenix. <laughs> Let's go with round three. The savior of humanity versus the bird of destruction. Three, two, one, go, two. And yes, I say savior of humanity to the fact that you save your boundary. Although the name seriously doesn't give him justice. Valtry is way better. And on that Valkyrie wins though. Congratulations to Valkyrie. Sorry my friend. My feathery friend. Go back and take on you. Next opponent. Uh, let's go with the last uh, Belial that I have. Because I have three. Let's go with Dangerous Belial. Without gear, no modification. 3, 2, 1, go! Whoa! The almighty driver! Let's go plus ultra! For those of you who get that joke, congratulations, you're a dweeb. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Ah, damn. Oh, wow! With surprise! Dangerous is the winner! I was sure that he was gonna lose them because his stamina was low as heck. But with a final strike, he won. Let's go to round two. Three, two, one, go! Oh, 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 oh. Powerhouse here. Oh, careful. Not to break anything. Once again, his stamina looks pretty low. And yep, 
have one win for Phoenix. Let's go to round three. Phoenix does click a lot. Oh, and the burst prevention system was activated in Dangerous Belio. Damn. Those were hard hits. Like most of the songs in the 90s. Haha. <laughs> no, just kidding. Three, two, one, go! go. It's just me, myself, and I. Sorry. And okay, that's it. Thank you, Belial, for your effort, but Phoenix is the winner. Oh, and no clicks on that time. Yeah, yeah. Go back into the box. Now, let's go for the OG. Well, kind of OG. Drigger V2 versus Phoenix. Can't wait to see the result. Three, two, one, go! And yes, I know you're encouraging him to eat because the bird. Shut up! Stamina versus defense. Sometimes only one thing can decide who's going to be the winner. And um, that time, if my vision is correct. Hey, I thought it was gonna be Trigger, but hey, happy to be wrong. That's one point for Phoenix. Yeah. Okay, round two. We didn't see one burst so far. That's good. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a hard match. Hell yeah. Oh, no, not even. Drigger win by a flim. That's kind of crazy. Let's go to round three then. Wow. A lot of round threes. Not that much of round two, so. Yes, yes, I know. You're encouraging Phoenix. Shut up. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Let's go for the better flock together. And that's two wins for Phoenix. Congratulations to our winner. Thank you, my friend. You did a great job, but now you have to go back into the can. Let's go with the ultimate form of attack form, aka the ultimate Valkyrie or ultimate Valtriac, depending on how you like to call him. It's just an amazing bay. Three, two, one, go! Wrong one! And he goes nuts. Most of them <laughs> he even turned backwards. God damn. Upside down. My friend, you're drunk. Go home. Oh, wow. Three clicks in. Almost a burst. Damn. Well, Valkyr Ultimate Valkyrie is known to be a hard hitter. But that's kind of impressive. Can't lie. He was able to resist. Did I do a battle marathon? Yes, I tried to do, the, to do a battle marathon with this guy, but... I had to erase the video. I'm gonna try to make another one, maybe, sometime. Who knows? Three, two, one, go, shoot! Round two. Ring the under the ring the under the Catch yourself, god damn it. Well, looks like it's gonna be a survival finish due to the fact that they need to get hit. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh. Well, survival finish and Phoenix won. Oh, with a clutch of two clicks in. Damn. And him? Oh, one click. There you go. Thank you, Valkyrie. I must admit, I really love the design. I could put Billy on that and call him Ultimate Billy. Oh, damn, that makes sense. <laughs> Jesus. Why didn't I feel about that before? Okay, here we have Gatling Dragon. One of the latest opponents. Latest acquisition. Sorry. Ooh. He fell on the floor. Don't worry, got him. Let's go, run, run. One, round one. God damn. Three, two, one, go, shoot! 
Okay. Not expecting that from Phoenix. Burns a lot of stamina there, yep. <laughs> Pretty much. What was that? One point for Dragon. Yowza. Phoenix, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Go, two! Okay. That's more like it. You see, that's the thing. Sorry, I'm gonna stop you there. That's the thing with Dragon and Valkyrie. They don't have that much stamina in them because of the fact that being pure attack type, it's pretty much more, most of the time just pure force, not much of anything else. Let's go with round two. Uh, round three, sorry. I forgot that it, it's worth the round two. Three, two, one, go! Two. Gatling Dragon on the offensive! As you can see for an attack right, that makes a lot of sense. Oh! And that's 2-1 to one for Dragon! For a stamina uh, launch finish, he actually put Phoenix backwards in the arena to get himself room enough inside of the center so Phoenix will stop here and he will keep on spinning. That was pretty much amazing, I can't lie. And now, another one of my latest acquisition. Let's go with this Arcanese versus Phoenix. Pretty sure it's gonna be a battle of hitting hard and be sure to not be hit out. <laughs> Even though ring and finish are kind of impossible with this stadium. So, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Three. And Arcanese take the center stage as Phoenix is swinging around and trying to take the advantage and knock him out. Although, I don't have that much hope on Phoenix on this one. Due to the fact that Arcades in is a balanced uh, state, so probably he's gonna be able to last longer than Phoenix. And I was right! Let's see if round 2 will be the same as this one was. Three, two, one, go! I just realized something. One of the best uh, Forge Disc for Archelis since its perfect round, sort of round formation would probably be the Forge Disc that um, Wind Knight has and has been reviewed with the Moon Forge Disc being completely round and surround uh, with a yellow rim, well, yellow form, bringing back the uh, Union Arcades, red tip, yellow uh, yellow forge disc, and of course its original coloring. And that was two two zero. Congratulations to Arcades, you did an amazing job. Now it's time for the last opponent, his own counterpart in its original form, Prominence Phoenix versus Black Chain Phoenix. Two defense type. One with the armor gimmick, and one with the chain gimmick, although not original chain gimmick due to the fact that it's not Kirby's. But anyways, let's see who is going to be the winner. Three, two, one, go, shoot! That's one win for Prominence Phoenix. Let's go round two. Three, two, one. Go -ho! And the armor didn't came off on the first try as well. That's pretty impressive when you think about it. Oh! So, talking about the devil, the armor just came off. 
And that's the win for Prominence Phoenix. Well, looks like the original is sometimes always better than the uh, new version. Yeah. So, there you have it, my friend. That was the battle marathon of Prom uh, Black Chain Phoenix versus all my DB Bays. I hope to do another video soon. I don't know when exactly, but as I go, it will probably when I'm gonna have the uh, ring for my Prime Apocalypse. Until then, guys, as always, keep on battling and spin out!